Hello YouTube. Today we're installing a threaded barrel on a SIG P365 SAS. I figured we would take the time to make a video covering the disassembly and the reassembly for this firearm as it is unique to this model. And then some of the Griffin products that we're gonna be throwing on there and using today to include their threaded barrels, uh, their new cam lock universal mounting system, and the Revolution 9 silencer that we have here. As always, we wanna, wanna make sure we have a clear and safe firearm, right? Everything's good here. So this is the SIG P365 SAS, and that stands for the SIG Anti-Snag. All of the controls on this firearm are all, are all uh, subdued. They're all recessed into the gun so that it won't snag on anything, to include the sights. They have this FT drop sight here, which is a really interesting sight system. We've sold a few of these guns and they're hard to get our hands on and they go quickly. These sights are really intuitive, really easy to use right out of the box. And something really interesting that uh, hadn't really been brought up in the conversation is uh, these sights are perfect if you're gonna be shooting suppressed because they really do allow you to just see right through the silencer and not even notice the silencer at all. It, uh, even very novice uh, shooters have no problem at all acquiring the sights with the silencer uh, on this pistol due to that Fusion Tritium drop sight there. It's a really interesting advantage that uh, hadn't really been brought up in the, in the greater conversation. And we're, uh, you know, we're pretty interested about it and wanted to, wanted to mention that in this video. So the disassembly of this little guy here, pretty simple. We're gonna wanna lock our slide uh, to the rear, which is significantly easier if you just insert the magazine and pull the slide back and allow the magazine to engage the slide lock on this firearm because as I said before, the controls are recessed and they're hard to access, they're hard to use there. So you may wanna, may wanna do what I did whenever you lock your slide to the rear. You've got this little guy here, that's gonna be the control that will allow us to disassemble the, disassemble the firearm. And what I'm gonna use uh, to turn it is a penny, if I can find it. There it is. We'll take, uh, I'm just gonna take a penny here. You say turn it backward. Basically just like that. And we'll send the slide home slowly. We'll ride the slide home and it should, there we go, comes right off. So that's the disassembly. You know, that's how it's unique to the uh, SIG P365SAS is this little guy right here. You're not gonna have a lever that you can access. You're gonna have to use a penny or something and turn it backwards. And then everything else just breaks right down, just like we're used to seeing. Pull that little barrel out. It's got that little ported barrel, little compensated barrel, which, which does help with these little guys. And the slide is also ported as well. Helps keep the muzzle down, these kind of radical little guns. So here we go, here's Griffin Armaments, SIG P365 threaded barrel. A really cool feature whenever you buy a Griffin Armament threaded barrel is they give you the free micro carry comp. You know, I mean, that's, a, that's an additional value. I mean, it, they really do take care of you on that. It makes the gun look cooler. It's gonna help with muzzle rise. It's just, it's not often that manufacturers give you more than what you, you know, bargain for. And I think Griffin Armament does a good job of trying to take care of their consumers like that. All right. I'm gonna take our threaded barrel here, insert that right back in. Make sure the plastic goes toward the back side. Make sure we get that fully seated. There we go, we're down there. All right, we're good. Slide our, all right. And set that down and turn this back to the proper position. We need to lock the slide to the rear when we're doing that. There we go. Turn that back to the proper position. All right. Send the slide home. We're good. We're back in action. 
Okay, so now we, uh, instead of inserting this micro carry comp, I'll do that here in a minute, I wanna show off the uh, cam lock, uh, universal mounting interface for center fire pistol silencers that Griffin Armament released a few months ago. And uh, slowly but surely kind of taken, taken off in the suppressor world, it's really innovative in that for modern center fire pistols in which uh, they have a tilt barrel uh, operating system, we haven't had much innovation in terms of mounting. You know, we've been stuck with the Nielsen device for a booster assembly for you know several decades now. And there's nothing wrong with the, with the legacy mounting system. However, it, they tend to come loose whenever uh, they're used. You know, you always gotta kinda watch them and make sure that they're not coming loose off the firearm. Whereas the, uh, the cam lock system here, it's a it's quicker installation and it and it doesn't come loose so you're going to get the 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 benefits of faster installation and you're not going to have to worry about that silencer coming loose and, and possibly having a baffle strike or or worse so we got the piston insert here this is what's actually going to go on the barrel itself so you have your you have your threaded barrel here you're gonna take the, the pistol insert here, and uh, the Griffin Brothers, uh, all of their threaded stuff is all half by 28, even though this is a SIG. All right, we go on here, and there are torque specifications for mounting this little guy on here. I believe it's between 18 and 20 pounds, but as always, you know, refer to your manufacturer's recommendations whenever you're installing accessories on your firearm. So all right, we got that on there. We got the uh, got the piston insert, which goes on the on the threaded barrel, and then here on this Revolution Nine, we've already installed the universal piston. So what's uh, what's universal about it is once you have this cam lock system on there, it'll go from firearm to firearm to firearm. Uh, they are uh, silencer specific. These little guys are here now. Each different kind of model of these will cover several different silencers. Uh, so, you know, this one here is for Ghost and the Wolfman. Um, I believe the one that goes in the Revolution 9 is good for rugged silencers and uh, silencer co silencers. And then there's a, you know, there's a few over, they did a really good job of creating enough of these universal uh, pistons to cover pretty much all popular, uh, popular silencer manufacturers. So we got our, got our muzzle device on there. We got our universal piston inserted into the Revo 9. And basically it's, boom, you stick it on, twist it, it's on the gun. Just that simple. I'm gonna see if I can get an angle here. And you're gonna see how this Fusion Tritium drop sight just sees right through that silencer. So the end user is not gonna have to invest in raised silencer height sights and they're, you know, not gonna have to just train a lot to get to where they don't need the suppressor height sights and they can, uh, you know, just, you know, go without it. It's a really neat system here that the uh, Griffin Brothers came up with. It's gonna be faster and it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be more stable. It's gonna be a more rock solid uh, mounting interface and in that you're not gonna have to worry about that silencer backing off there. Um, we have these on our website right now. Uh, you know, we got, we stock a lot of Griffin stuff on the website, you know, come check it out, texasordnancedepot.com. If you found this video uh, any good at all or got any value out of it, go ahead and please like our, our YouTube uh, channel. And, uh, you know, if you could share it, that would help out a lot. This YouTube thing is new to us and social media is definitely our main form of marketing, just trying to get the word out about our, our brand and our shop. But thanks for watching the day, guys, and feel free to leave any comments in the in the comment section down there, and we'll try to be uh, we'll try to be responsive to those. Thank you.